In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use the DeCast paywall to monetize a live channel, video on demand, or a playlist. For all types of content, you can charge pay per view or subscription fees and set up promo codes. I'm in the live stream section of my DeCast account, and I'll click the edit icon for this channel. Then I'll open the paywall tab at the top of the page. My paywall is not enabled, since I don't have any pricing set up yet, and it uses the standard theme. To set up my first pricing structure, I'll click New Price. I don't have any presets created yet, so I'll keep Custom Price. For pricing type, I have two choices. Pay-per-view is a one-time payment that allows access during a single specified time period. A subscription is a time-based recurring charge for unlimited access during each day, each week, or each month. For this example, I'll choose Pay-per-view and set a price of 20 US dollars. For British viewers, I'll click Add Another Price and set this price to £17. I'll set the duration to 2 hours. I can also choose whether the video will start immediately after purchase, or I can switch to Schedule and set a start date, time, and time zone for viewing. Live streamed events and pay per view almost always have a scheduled start. If I plan to use this price for other streams, I can save these settings as a price preset. I'll name this preset Concert, then click Create. My first price structure is listed here. I can delete a price or use the Edit button to change pricing details. Now I can enable the paywall. Next, I'll click New Promo to create a promo code which I can distribute to viewers for discount pricing. As before, I have no preset promo codes yet, so I'll keep Custom Promo. I'll assign the alphanumeric code FREEVIEW which is the code viewers will receive, and it will be worth 100% off the price of a pay-per-view. I need to set a limit of how many times this code can be used, and I can make the code available always, or limit it to a specific time range. Because this code is for a pay-per-view, the discount will be applied only one time. As with pricing, I can also save a promo code as a preset. I'll assign the preset name of Free Pay-Per-View and click Create. The other type of pricing I can set up is for subscriptions. I'll click New Price again, and now I can see the preset I created earlier. I'll keep Custom Price and change the type to Subscription. This type of pricing is generally used for regular broadcasts, like TV channels, which have an immediate start. I can add prices in a variety of currencies as before. The difference is that subscriptions are set to recur, and payments can be charged weekly, monthly, etc. Start method is grayed out since subscriptions are ongoing. I'll click Create, and now for this channel, I have a combination of pay per view and subscription pricing. Promo codes can also be subscription based. I'll create a new promo code and name it First Month Half, make it worth 50% off, and set a limit. I'll keep the code always available, and the discount will be applied once for the first month of the subscription. For a discount that will be applied each time the subscription fee is charged, I would choose the Forever option. I'll click Create, and now this new code is added. This example showed how to monetize a live stream, and the same options are available for video on demand. I'll edit this video channel, click Paywall, and Prices and Promos are here as well. The Paywall tab is also available for playlists. I can also manage prices, promo codes, and other monetization settings in the Paywall section of my account. In Presets, I can see any price or promo presets I've already created, delete or edit them, or create new ones. The Groups page is where I can set up group prices and group promos. Group pricing grants viewers access to multiple pieces of content by paying only once, rather than for each separately. In Transactions, I can see my list of paywall transactions, and in Withdrawals, I can request a payout or view all previous and pending payout requests. The Theming page enables me to customize my paywall theme. And under Settings, I can enable payment settings such as PayPal or credit card transactions. The contents of the Card Statement field are what will appear in your customer's transaction statements. If you have any questions about our paywall, or any other DeCast feature, please check out our knowledge base or contact us 24-7.